sun is setting outside, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of an enchanting day. Hello there, only one can over here, only one. I'm filming this. This is gonna be a really quick video, I guess. I'm filming this on the 2nd of June. I've just made a video go live, which was the last of the series I've just been doing, looking at the 96 characters in the kennel line, looking at the best figures that exist for them. And um, yeah, so I was on my laptop. I edit and do everything on my channel on my phone. I edit my videos, I shoot stuff. I do everything on my phone, except there's one thing I do on a laptop. I turn my laptop on so I can add those things at the very end of my videos. You know the outro video and you see the two sort of recommendations that you get in the top or on the left or right of the screen and the subscription button. I add them and I can only do that on a laptop. So when I was on there, I see the dashboard and there's usually a little bit of news. They tell you about your views and blah, 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 but it said, it's your channel's birthday. Now, usually I remember, because when it comes around to the 2nd of June, I always think, ah, that's the channel birthday. This year, honestly, I've forgotten about it until I saw that anyway. So, happy birthday channel. What is this now, six years? It is six years now, wow. And how many subscribers now are we on? Wow, we're nearly on eight thousand but um i'm never gonna get there without your help so if you are not already subscribed you know what to do do it anyway apart from just announcing that i don't know when i'm gonna put this out it's the second of june today and i've just put out a video now which is that video the final episode of the first of the 96 the last 12 and i guess i'm either gonna put this out tomorrow i'm gonna live stream tomorrow with I think, hopefully, with Tim from Bosk's Bounty, hopefully Shabby, and also Stuart Norris, I'm hoping to talk about the, um, what you call it now, the Star Cruiser, Galactic Star Cruiser, any of the stuff we can think of, really. I need to plan something out for that, because there isn't much new to talk about. Even that stuff's kind of old news now, but I do want to talk about that, because I'm a big fan of, well, Star Wars, obviously, and the Disney parks as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this stuff. I've had this for days, and I, <laughs> I haven't opened it. I know what it is as well. I think maybe one of the items is Blitz. So I already have a Blitz. Um, I got delivered the other day. I think that was from Pulse. This is from Comics and Cocktails. And then I think the other thing is Cult. I should have two Cults or either or. In fact, if you bear with me, I might go and get the Blitz I've already got. Bear with me. Yeah, I've just been in my card room to get this. And that's coming along really well. Card room. I spent a lot of time in there the last few sort of weeks. Uh, this was Blitz, and um, <sighs> dusty maybe there. I don't know, nice car back, I like that car back. I just can't quite place who Blitz is. I'd have to watch the Clone Wars again, but I know who Cult is. And that is one I'm definitely gonna open. Um, don't wanna open too many clones. I mean, there's so many that are available now. I only really wanna open my best or the ones that are significant. Oh, the ones that look really good. And these shelves are not quite in the best order yet. Hang on, oh God. You can see this guy, the Wasp Man. I like that one, so that's why he's loose. But there's a few others I haven't opened. I'm not even massively fussed on opening Havoc. I mean, I've only got one Havoc anyway, but you know what I mean? It won't um, keep me up at night if I don't get him open. And also, this fella, it's a nice figure and everything, but it's its not really um, setting the world on fire. I mean, it's reminiscent of stuff I already have loose is what I mean. Right, okay, so this one came the most recently, so we'll get that one over first then. It might not be what I think it is, it might be something else. Oh well, this is nicely packed, isn't it? Oh, there's two in one here. Look at that, that's the difference. This is a comics and cocktails packaging, using their brain. That one's a massive box from, I think that is from, uh, yeah, it's Yodel. That's from, uh, this is from Pulse. I bet you'll have loads of loads of bubble wrap or whatever in there or packaging. I think these are going to be two cults. And this is the thing, I bought two cults from uh, comics and cocktails when I didn't need to. I already had one from Pulse. In fact, actually, I think that's cult. I just remembered now, I've only got the one blitz. I've got now three cults I should have, which is just my own mistake. I'm sure you've done the same. You get like m mixed up. I got confused with which trooper was which. And I thought that um, I hadn't got an order in for cult, so I ordered two. 
got a message off a friend and he said, oh, they're on sale. And boom, 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 I was straight in, even though I didn't need to worry, I already had him coming. But still, at least I've got plenty of choice now for what I'm going to open and keep carded. But this is one I do want loose. Yeah, he's nice. What number is he? 276. I might even, if one of them is beaten up, I might open it now to celebrate the channel birthday. That's a decent looking card. Well done, comics and cocktails. Not bad. Now let's see how Hasbro Pulse have done. Look at the size of that box, man. Was that necessary? It might not be Colt. It might be something else. Oh my God. Yeah, there is just, look at this. There's one figure in it. It's Colt. Look at that. Look at the size of the box. And uh, there you go. So I've got three really good, oh, I like his hair, man. Really good condition Colts. And uh, this goes back a while. I think I'm getting flashbacks of conversations I've had with people. I think it's been remarked that this guy could be the prelude to the best ultimate Rex. Like a clone, a proper Clone Wars Rex. None of that bouffant Rex that we got in the uh, Bad Batch, that figure. In fact, he's over here now, let me grab him. Yeah, man, we need a proper ultimate Rex and they haven't done it, so it's wide open. Could even give you an alternative card back. They shouldn't have wasted their time bringing us back that Rex that was the 5 PO, not 5 PO8, sorry, it was in the um, Black Series. Is that, have I still got that figure? I should have somewhere. Oh yeah, here he is, this one here. That guy, which was a Black Series repack, put that in the vintage collection on, didn't they? On a really nice card, but that's a mediocre figure, that. Um, so you know what, I'm in the mood for opening something, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna open one. Ay, ay, ay! I open one of these. It's just looking for a blemish or something. Give me a sign. What's the card back like? Oh yeah, that's a nice stiff card. Good. Very good. Um, yeah, there's a couple of weird things on the card back there. Can you sorry, you can't even see what I'm filming. Can you see there? There's like a blemish or something there. I think that um Yeah, I might open that one. Oh yeah, there's a it's not even a ding, but it's just something that stands out. So I'll put that one. Let's have just a double check of this one. Make sure there's no... don't want to regret opening one that is uh, not bad. Yeah, I think I'll keep these carded. Right. I think I just need to open the figure, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, so I gave him a sniff. A strong chemical smell. Let's have a look at him compared to Blitz. Yeah, they're the same figure. Except for the head, obviously. Um, I like these clones, they're good. I can't remember if they've maybe scaled down the, the helmet, because they've got these new phase twos, haven't they? It's to me like the same size. I haven't looked at all, apart from when I was at uh, Star Wars Celebration at the Hasbro booth. I haven't really looked or researched into the new helmet that they've made for these new Phase 2s, but um, they might have just foregone using that for these clones since they worked all right anyway. Remember, they were the types with the blasters that came out of these packets here, but anyway. Let me just uh, unload the gear. i got to have this guy with his helmet off. That hair is just far too good. Looks far too badass, man. Again, the same situation with those figures, those clones that we've had since the special actions figure set. The 501st special action set. A bit wobbly there, but you know, I can live with that. This uh, head looks interesting though. Look at that, the joints. You can see right inside the cranium there, probably just because of some kind of like, probably got that pivot pigeon double joint whatever you call that barbell thing um i will put his helmet on for you later but i'll just set him up without should we lower this i always get my clones in the same pose holding the helmet you know let me turn this around so we can have a look and see what we're doing that's what you're looking at ladies and gentlemen I'll go handheld in a minute. 
God, it feels like a quick shot episode. Yeah, I like him. I like it a lot. I like any of this, this mold sculpt. This type of clone is awesome. That's a nice new head, man. That's begging for Captain Rex to be done. Do what must be done, Hasbro Pulse. Give in to getting us Rex. Some troopers, clones, are fine with their helmets on, but guys like this, and guys like this, you can't have a helmet on that, can you? Look at that. With patterns on the head like that, how could you? I will bring the quick shots back because I, uh, I've got work to do there as well. I've got Cal Kestis to open and stuff, but let's just check this dude out. Yeah, he's pretty cool, isn't he? This is Ark Commander Colt, and I can relate to this guy because uh, I just know, know him or what he did. It's some of his scenes from the Clone Wars anyway. So I've got that. I can relate to him that way, but also there was a figure of him that was well expensive. My nephew got it when he was really young. Maybe he was only about four or five. And my mother bought him what seemed to be a peg warmer. Just a clone. I remember seeing it myself swinging on the pegs in Tesco, man. God damn it. And my mother bought it for him. And that is... Might have gone down now. I don't know, but it was worth a load of money not long ago. Even loose, he was expensive. Carded. Whew, a crazy amount. A bit like the Ahsokas from that series as well. But he's pretty cool, isn't he? And you're seeing him now, ladies and gentlemen, in the dying light. Of the 2nd of June, 2023, the sixth birthday of the Only One Kenobi channel. And uh, a nifty, nifty uh, new clone for the Clone Wars shelf. I like it. Pretty good. But anyway, there you go. His leg looks a bit funny there. It's just the way I've put him on two pegs, but that doesn't matter. Right. Thank you for watching this. And thank you for uh, being a subscriber, If you, especially if you've been with the channel a long time now. Uh, do let me know in the comments how long you have subscribed to the channel. It'd be interesting to know. Um, yeah, and I'll give you some continued support. One and all, this has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.